Let's talk about a key tactical concept in tennis. That is, taking time away from the opponent. Basically, tennis is a battle for time. If I have time to swing, then I'm going to make less mistakes. If I am rushed as I get to the ball, I'm probably going to make more mistakes. So basically the goal is for you to have a lot of time and for your opponent to have very little time. So what does that really mean? Well, the closer you are to your opponent, the closer you are at contact from your opponent, the less time he is going to have or she is going to have to react to your shots. The farther back you are, the more distance between you and your opponent, the more time they are going to have. So if you want to take time away from them, you have to try to hit the ball in such a way that is closer to them. If I play very far on the court, I am giving my opponent a lot of time. Of course, sometimes I need to be far because I need to gain time. That means the opponent is attacking me, I need a little bit more time, so I'm going to back up. But in order to attack, you want to catch the ball early. You want to make sure that you are taking every advantage possible to take that ball inside the court and force the opponent. A very important situation to make this a reality is when you see that your opponent is stretched. When, your opponent, you, when you hit a shot and you see that your opponent is stretched, step into the court because most likely they are going to hit a short ball. So you, you should be a short ball hunter. You should be re always looking to pounce on those short balls. That is the key to taking time away from the opponent. So as soon as you see the opponent very far uh, on the baseline or very stretched, step forward. Try to catch the next volley either in the air or right off the bounce. That is going to give you a lot of extra points without taking more risk. Another important concept on this taking time off from the opponent and gaining time is using height. So I can gain time by playing farther back, but I can also gain time by hitting my ball higher. So if my ball is taking longer to get to the other side, then I am going to have more time to recover and to be ready for the next shot of my opponent. So making sure that I use height when I'm out of position and in, uh, and in uncomfortable positions, it's going to be key for me to really stay in the point. So when you're playing, think about the points as a battle for time. Do everything you can to take time away from the opponent and do everything you can to get time to yourself by using height, by using your distance to the baseline on the court. If you enjoy playing singles and would like to understand the game a lot better, take a look at our Singles Tactic Masterclass. You will learn how to play percentage tennis. That means hitting the right shot at the right time. Stop second guessing yourself. I should have come to the net. I should have stayed back. I should have just got the ball in. Learn about singles tactic. Understand the game and bring your game to a whole new level.